What's up? I'm like you. What building do you live? Building one. This okay. is building seven. I go to the building to bother you. Go. And I go to the building to bother you. I'm sitting there on my phone. The How am I bothering you? Okay, you, man. I go to the building. How am I bothering you sitting there? Nice, that's always fun. <laughs> All right, I'm out here with uh, Ed. Somewhere back here, adventure time. But yeah, I can tell you it's been an adventure. The last two weeks has been pretty crazy. So I drove up to Tampa for Boomfecta. All right, so we are out here in Naples right now, hitting the road, driving up to Safety Harbor to go to the Perfect uh, Tarpon Tournament. Uh, I haven't been in a few years. It's a good thing we didn't do best of 21. <laughs> Pretty stoked. Yeah. Did I you achieve what you wanted? Yes. Yes, we did. All right, did you actually cast an editor? No, it it right. I caught it. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Like, all right, congrats, dude. All right, thank you. It was a great event as always. Tried to do some fishing. The fish did not cooperate. Saw a couple tarpon roll, but they were not having it. This kid just rides up with his pit vipers and a fly rod, talking about he saw us fly fishing and wanted to come join us. So got, what you got? What you got? I got all these in Alaska, so they're probably not that good, but. Ah, uh, you'd be surprised. Some, those are all really cheap, so I got some of those. Helped him out, pick out a fly to throw. He said he's only fly fished ever in Alaska and he didn't realize he could do it in Florida until he saw us fly fishing. So, pretty cool kid. He was like 14 years old on his bike with his fly rod. All right, what, what's your name and plug your YouTube channel? Oh, I'm Walker with Saltwalker Outdoors, or just Saltwalker now, but we do a lot of fishing and motor fixing and boating around, but wherever I go, I'm gonna try to fish. Then uh, I went fishing with Jake, Dr. Scales, Came down from Vero, we were out here fishing around Miami, got into some tarpon. I don't know how I lost the fly because the loop is still here perfectly, look. What? Must have slipped out of the uh, eye of the hook. Yeah, I don't know what hook that was. Max tied that fly. Yeah. The next day, I went out with Peter from Denmark, got into a bunch of tarpon, I finally stuck one. Got about five or six jumps out of him before he finally spit the hook. Then Peter stuck one. Got about one jump out of him before he spit the hook. But here it is. You know, I've been fishing every day. It's almost like impossible to get a video in these last two weeks for whatever reason. It's been very hard to get some fish to hand, even just now. Again, I got a tarpon fly on here, so. Right now the flavor is tarpon fly. Oh, there they go. Oh my God. That was a big peacock that just blew up there. Blew up bait, did you see it? I saw him come up and eat out of the water. The problem is such a hard spot to make a cast to. I saw them, um, they were like scattering minnows and then the peacock came out of the water to eat. That means my fly should work. If they're up high on the surface like that, scattering minnows, my fly does mimic a minnow. I just gotta bend the line in this little pocket right here. Make my cast where I want it. 
and hope I cross path with that fish and I did I got him I knew he was out there and he was hungry pretty aggressive there's another one with him you want to drop your fly next to him oftentimes they eat in that scenario they feel they see this and they to them it's another feeding frenzy you know Yeah, if you could somehow get your line out there. Oh. I don't see the other fish anymore. Oh yeah, he's right down here actually. Although, oh, he, he just formed your fly. You saw him? He nailed your fly. He's on it. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Come on. Again, they go into instinct of, they see one fish like this thrashing, they think it's a, a fish feeding, so they think there's bait, and they get excited. But the problem is my fish is like already tired, so he's not fighting right now. So they're gonna lose their uh, aggressiveness. I mean, you, yeah, it was, right? All right, he's pulling again, though. Maybe, yep, you see? You see how crazy that is? The moment mine kicks. The moment mine kicks, another one comes up and eats your fly. You got three of them staring at your fly right now. He's on it. Oh. Get it back out there. Get it back out there. Perfect cast. Let it sink. Let it sink. Let it sink. Twitch it. Come on. One of them's got to come up and eat it. Oy. Oh, he kicked off. He kicked off. Hit the ground. He's swimming off. I don't have a polarizer on this camera because I bought one, but it doesn't fit if I have this contraption on it. Oh, is that the medium off there? Yeah. There's a swarm of them out there now. But they're not that interested now that my fish is not thrashing everywhere. I caught a peacock. Right when I went to grab him, he just spit the hook, fell right there on the ground, wiggles his back way into the water before I could snatch him. But we're gonna keep moving. We might go back to the Paku spot. Oh, speaking about the Paku, uh, Miami Herald actually made it a cover story. They interviewed me for it twice. They got this little article on there, so make sure you check that out, MiamiHerald.com. I will put the link in the description below. So we're gonna try to sneak back in. The block is definitely hot now. It's heated. I've heard a lot of people have been trying to get in there now to catch the fish and they haven't been successful but we're gonna try we're gonna try to sneak back in we think we have another way to get in because it is a gated community and high security we're gonna try to weasel our way back in there and get into those fish so what do you got to say ed i'm excited to get back at the paku and piranha piranha yeah. my bad i mean it's a piranha <laughs> video <laughs> pond fishermen can you believe they put pond they put fishermen. pond fishermen <laughs> Pond fisherman. That's that's gonna be one to live up to. <laughs> but I, my wife went, bought like four of them. The last four they had here at the local Publix. I'm gonna frame one up, put it in my YouTube studio because technically it's my first video that I get freaking, you know, media coverage from such a big newspaper. The video blew up from like 3,000 views to 14,000 views overnight. So pretty pumped about that. Fishing the backyard. One of Ed's neighbors, who technically is my neighbor too, because I live in the same. Uh, complex decides to start shouting at me from his balcony so I text Ed say yo your neighbor is tripping on me and then Ed comes out and then the guy comes downstairs and gets in my face and starts screaming that I don't belong there that I'm trespassing Ed tells him confirms yes he does live here yet the guy's still screaming fuming at the top of his lungs you are you okay. out of place, okay? I'm not out of place. No, you don't live here. We I pay, live we here. Seven hundred dollars of maintenance, so you can fish over here. I live it's okay here. With me. Get out of here. We don't, it's a new association. We don't want you here. Fear what it. building do you live? Building one. This okay. is building I seven. Go to I don't. To bother you? Go. And I go to the building. I'm you. sitting there on I my phone. The building, How am I bothering you? you? Okay, f you, man. I go to How the am I bothering you? No, 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 no. You don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. You're calling me a liar, threatening to call the cops on me. I will. Do I live I here? I will. Do I, I will. live here? It's in the same association. It's not the same association. Every, no, you don't understand how it works. Every building has its own private association within, the association. and they're all part of a conglomerate association. Yeah, we have the but don't come to my corner. Uh, I know you are screaming at me, telling me that I'm a liar. I don't live here. You don't live here. You don't live here. Yes, I do. Then you threaten to call the cops on me. Call the cops. 
Well, I don't care. He's your friend. I don't want to see. I've you. lived I don't here. Like you anymore. Okay, I don't like you either. Go fuck up for yourself, then. What? I tell you go fuck yourself, then. Okay, I'll go fuck myself. Get out of here. I, I don't have I don't to get out of here. here. I don't want you here either, but oh, it makes no difference. It makes no difference. It doesn't matter. You, you it's the control. same. You're getting too controlling. I'm not getting you controlling. Because this guy is your friend. You no, I've friend. been fishing here. Ask, how did you even meet me? He's fishing here. I met him from fishing. To be I understand that. I understand that. I've been fishing here 20 years because my wife has lived here 28 years. I think the argument is no employee. He does live in the same association as I need to know who you are. That's what I need. You don't have to know who I am. Yes, I, I live you here. Know. That's all. I told you I live here. What apartment? And I told you where I live. I told you where I live, but I live here. So I can be here. That I don't belong there, that he doesn't care, that he never wants to see me there again. So I told him I never want to see him there again. But it's obviously not going to happen because we both live there. But he did not like that at all when I said that. But yeah, let's get back to it. Let's see if we can get some fish. Because so far, this video is nothing but people screaming at me. <laughs> and missing a lot of fish. So let's get to it. Let's get it. I got one. I got a bass. So there are different fish in here. Oh, he came chasing my fly. He just came charging the fly all the way down. He's dipping. Oh, I got something else. Another bass. That's interesting. Like that day, I didn't even see a single bass. He's spooky. another bass that's crazy <laughs> take bass number four five I mean they're a little too they're hungry I don't know if we're going to have any luck here. 